Hello, I'm Richard Murphy and I want to talk about a subject that is dear to many people's hearts and that is how we make money. Now, most people when they talk about making money are talking about a business running at a profit. I've got to tell you, that doesn't make money. That's a complete misnomer. You can make profit and actually have no resulting cash because, for example, it's all invested in business assets or people haven't paid you yet or whatever. No, that isn't how we make money. What I'm talking about is how we make money. Now, not just the physical money. This stuff's easy to explain. You turn on a printing press and off it comes. And bizarrely, the government has two organisations that make this money. One is the Bank of England, who make the notes, and the other is the Royal Mint, who make those. So that's how we make notes and coins. But they represent less than... 3% of all the money that is in use in our economy, and I'm interested in the other 97% as a result. How is that 97% made? Well, without exception, it's made by a bank. It can be made by the Bank of England for the government. It can be made by a commercial bank for an individual like you or me. But in every single case, the money that is made is always produced in the same way. And it goes like this. Someone goes into the bank and says, I'd like a loan, please. And the bank looks at them, sizes them up, does a credit reference check or whatever else, probably not necessary in the case of the government, but required for everyone else. And they decide to lend the money. What they do is incredibly simple. When they've decided to lend the money, they open two bank accounts for the person in question. One is a loan account and one is a current account. In the loan account, they record the amount of money that the person has promised to pay back to the bank. In the current account, they record the amount of money that they have said they will let the borrower spend. In other words, they've given them the money on which they can now make a payment. That's it. That makes the money. There's nothing else involved in the process at all. It is literally a couple of keystrokes on a computer. That is how 97% of money in the UK is created. There's no other trick at all. So everything with regard to money creation comes down to whether or not there are enough loans being made. And if there aren't enough be loans being made into the economy, we have a problem because we have a shortage of money. And as a result, the government has to make more money to make up for the fact that most loans are not made by the government, of course, but are instead made by the private sector banks. And between the two of them, they have to create the cash that we need. Well, that's it. All that economic policy with regard to money requires is that we find the right balance between money creation by commercial banks, by lending to people, and government spending into the economy, having borrowed the money in the first instance from the Bank of England, to create the cash that is required to keep our economy circulating. Money making is simple. Always remember, it's just tapping some entries into a computer. It's not about making a profit. It's not about printing. It's not something magic. It's just double entry bookkeeping on a screen somewhere near you in a bank. Thank you for watching this. It's part of our whole theme in these videos on money. We're gonna have a lot more around this issue because it's so hard to understand for most people. If you're interested, please click the subscribe button. If you want to follow me on Twitter, that's at Richard J. Murphy. If you want to look at my blog where this theme has been explored quite extensively, look at Tax Research UK. And I'll be talking about this again soon.